Let's use some data tables to help answer these following questions. Question one, determine the amount of CPP deducted for the following gross incomes. These are going to be weekly incomes. So it's how much money the person makes in a week. So if someone was paid $361.98 in a week, how much CPP would be deducted? Let's go to the CPP table. So here we've got a Canada Pension Plan contribution table. This is based on weekly wages. On the left hand side, we have ranges of wages. All we have to do is find where our weekly wage fits. Once we've got that, then we move over to the other side and that tells us what our payment is going to be. We're looking for $361.98. It's going to be right here. Right there on the top. Right between $361.75 and $361.94. That number to the right of it, that $14.58, that's going to be exactly what the monthly deduction is going to be for CPP. Let's go put that in in our question. Our deduction is going to be $14.58. It's just a matter of looking it up on the table. For $385.82, now keep in mind there are four columns, so you gotta make sure you're picking it out of the right one. I'm not seeing it here, so I'm gonna scroll down until I can find it. There it is, 385.82, right at the top of the box there. It's right in between 385.79 and 385.98, which gives us a $15.77 deduction. Let's go put that in, $15 and 77 cents. It's just a matter of looking it up on the chart, putting that deduction number down. Let's move on to EI. Process is exactly the same. Just make sure you're using the correct table. This time we're going to use the employment insurance table. So starting with A, let's look at $370.92. If that's what your weekly wage is, let's look up the EI. Scrolling down, 370.92, in that category right at the top there. $6.42. My EI deduction, $6.42. Next one, $384.64. That's my weekly wage. Let's look up the EI deduction. I've got it right here. That number right at the top, our deduction is going to be $6.65 because it's right in between $384.11 and $384.68. So $6.65 is my deduction. Next question. Let's find the amount of federal income tax deducted using the following net incomes. This one's a little bit different. This has what's called claim codes. Now what a claim code is, is all depending on your situation, you might be working with a different claim code. Different claim codes say that you are deducted different amounts of income tax. Your claim code could change for instance, if you're looking after elderly people in your home, if you have child care that you have to worry about, these things will change what claim code you are charged income tax on. It's a way of the government giving a bit of a break to people who need it. It's also dependent upon your income, but these other factors are also worked in. Let's start with A. $350 weekly income, claim code number two. Keep in mind you have to go to the federal income tax table, don't be going to the provincial one. All right, on the left-hand side, we've got our pay right here. This box right here is where you look for where your pay fits in. Along here, we have our claim codes. So you pick the correct claim code and you pull the number from that column. We're looking for claim code number two. So we're going to be pulling from this column right here. Next step, let's find where our income fits in. So we, if we are paid $350 a week, look for $350 there, Okay, let's zoom in on that one. 350 is the one right at the top there, right in between 347 and 351. I'm going over to claim code number two. That's the one that I highlighted in yellow. This person's federal income tax deduction is $14.35. Let's write that down. B, income level is $412 a week and claim code number five. Let's go to the federal income tax table. I'm gonna start with claim code number five. That's a column we're looking in. If I'm looking for 412, it's right down there at the bottom. It's right there at the top between 411 and 415. If I scroll over, right there, $6.25. The federal income tax deduction is $6.25. 
Notice how when we look at those claim codes, as you go into a higher claim code, you actually start paying less and less and less tax. So this person that's up in claim code number five really isn't paying much tax at all, whereas the person in claim code zero, they're paying more. Question four. Let's look up the amount of provincial income tax deducted for the following net incomes. Same thing again, we have claim codes. Now in this case, we're going to be using a sheet from BC and keep in mind that every province chooses its own income tax amounts. So for every province, there would be a different sheet. So our first person makes $396 a week and they sit in claim code number three. Let's start by selecting our claim code. That's number three. We'll start coloring in that column. We're looking for 396. It's going to be right here. Provincial income tax in BC, $1.20. Put that down, $1.20. Move on to the next one. $450, but claim code zero. Remember, the lower the claim code, probably the higher your tax is going to be. Our claim code is zero. All the way there at the bottom. So $450 and claim code zero is going to be right there. That's a provincial income tax of $17.70. All right, looking at question five. What range of weekly gross incomes would result in paying the following amounts of Canada Pension Plan? So this first one, $16.27. Now for these questions, I want you to be careful. Make sure you're going to the right table. We want to go to the CPP table this time. This is also the amount that's being deducted. So how much did the person make? So this time, I'm looking for, through this column, for the deduction. And then I'm going to, when I find the deduction, I'm going to you take the matching pay from that column right there. So 1627, this right here, that's too high. This over here is too low, so it's going to be someplace down there. Let's scroll down. Oh, there it is. I see it. 1627. So that must mean I need to go over from there. Let's zoom in on that. 1627. That person made somewhere between $395.85 and $396.08. Let's write that down. Last pair of questions. What range of incomes would result in paying the following amounts of federal income tax? And it does mention the claim cones in the brackets. Once again, go to the correct chart. We're looking for the federal income tax tax sheet. Okay, looking at the federal tax deduction sheet, let's start with claim code two. I'm gonna highlight that column. And I'm looking for 2835. Oh, gotta keep going quite a bit ways down. All right, so when I see 28.35, I'm looking for it right here. And let's go back across. Looks like this person made somewhere between $447 and $451 in a week. And that's how we use deduction tables.